guys, what is going on today? It is Mark here. Welcome back to some more ranked gameplay here in Modern Warfare 3. And normally, whenever I do upload ranked uh, gameplay videos, I only do the live comms because, you know, honestly, that's what we're here to do. But recently, within the last couple of weeks, there has been a topic going around that very much intrigued me so the drop shot pod made a comment and it's been all over tiktok i think their video blew blew up or their tiktok clip blew up but they were trying to compare the cdl versus warzone pros and they they stated and i will get into my opinion here in a second um, that the Warzone pros are more skillful, you know, in air quotes there, than the CDL pros, or they have more talent or more potential or whatever. I don't think that's the case either way. And they went in and did a, like, response video slash podcast to it. And... <sighs> And to me, I, th I think that a lot of people are getting it all wrong. Oh, he's so fucking weak. Um, because if you look at what needs to be in your skill set, just to be a pro Call of Duty player, and I think that's how we need to look at this subject. I don't think it's Warzone versus CDL. I think it's pro Call of Duty player make your list of players and number those players in their respective um, game of choice, if you will, and number them from there. Because I think Warzone and CDL could go hand in hand, and they made this point too. A lot of people have made this point. If a Warzone player practiced enough in the CDL rule set maps and modes, then they would probably be just fine. Same thing with the CDL player. If they practice enough Warzone, they'd be just fine in Warzone. So I don't think it's a CDL versus Warzone thing. I think it's a pro thing and actually who is a better Call of Duty player. And it's hard to dictate. And we'll get into that here in a little bit as well. But both Call of Duty League members and your Warzone members. Like, it's so hard to even pin them against each other because the game style and gameplay is very vast and very different. Like the only three things that are similar is one, you gotta have a good team and good teamwork. Your gun skill has to be phenomenal and your map knowledge has to be up there too. Like that, just basic stuff along those lines, both of your CDL and your Warzone players have to have that. Warzone, however, and I tried to come up with things to like determine the differences and uh, see exactly what would make one more challenging or one more easier than the other. And I honestly just like couldn't do it. Because Warzone is, I feel like, is way more RNG based. And when I say that, it may sound like I am like more on the CDL side. Which, I, I went in w with a mindset predetermined to think that way, but Warzone is way more RNG based. Depends on where you get circle, where your drops happen for your loadouts, just where other players uh, spawn, because there is, you know, a hundred more times of people in a lobby for Warzone. It is basically all luck. Well, I say basically, but that is a very loose term. But you also have more chances. And I say that... Yes, I know there are respawn modes and stuff like that in the CDL. But you have your gulags. You have your buybacks in Warzone. And if your team is good and set up in the right way, you have multiple chances to get your team back and get in a position to win. Also... Before I hop over to the CDL little list that I tried to make and think, but, it, you know, it was honestly very difficult to do. 
even though it seems pretty simple whenever you say it out loud. Like, comparing these two was very... They ju they're just so different. But Warzone players, their atmosphere compared to... Because right now, Major 1 is going on, on LAN. And I don't know if there's ever been a Warzone event on LAN. You know, correct me if I am wrong or if you just want to enlighten me. If you stream in the comfort of your home, I feel like you're going to be a little bit more relaxed. You don't have a whole crowd of people cheering you on or booing you or whatever the case may be. The whole atmosphere adds a lot to a way that someone can play. Someone could be a great online player and a terrible LAN player or vice versa. Like, I think the atmosphere plays a lot into it. And I think that's kind of something the CDL has that Warzone may not have. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. But the environment that they play in, you know, I feel like they feel a lot more pressure, especially when they play on LAN and in person. So that alone is different. And going more into the CDL, uh, you get more consistent gunfights. And these were some of the points I already brought up. But especially in hardpoint and control, you are in gunfights, you know, 80% of the match. You know, you have your rotations and your setups and all that, but... You're in more gunfights, and you're going up against the best players, quote-unquote, in the world. So, I mean, that versus Warzone in a tournament where the lobbies are bigger. You could be playing against someone that is great or not so great. You know, I just think there's a lot more skill gap in Warzone. Uh, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, but for the CDL, too, I think there's also less room for error. Because you have to break your hard point and win your rotations. And if you guys aren't following through and getting done what you need to be done, uh, your lead is just going to be too big to make a comeback. You know, it does happen, but like more on a consistent basis, uh, there is less, there's just less room for error, honestly. Like, you guys have to be on top of your shit. And then. Again, take this loosely, um, there are more maps and modes in the CDL compared to Warzone. Like, there is one Warzone map you have to know. I understand, like, the size of it is just ginormous. But some teams have strengths and weaknesses on different maps and different modes. And in Warzone, you're, it's, like, yes, the CDL is repetitive. You watch the same maps, the same everything all year long. But Warzone, I mean... Other than, like, again, the RNG aspect when the circle changes or where players drop, what is different oh, than, than that? And then there is also some talk. You know, moving kind of like out of the skill set, let me know what you guys think about that and if you guys have different points that are there to be argued. But they talked about money being made and why... Warzone wouldn't go to CDL or why the CDL players wouldn't go to play Warzone. And I don't know, I kind of have to agree with that in terms of the Warzone streamers, the at least the top ones, probably make more than the CDL, which is kind of hard to dictate because the CDL has been around a lot longer. But, I mean, you got your ad revenue, you got your stream donations and all that stuff, and the CDL is on a salary and your winnings and stuff like that. So it's really hard to compare those two. But with the CDL, you get the representation of, like, playing for a team. So I think that right there, just to be able to say that you play for someone or that, hey, I am actually a pro, and it's not just, like, some dude said, it's like it's more of a staple, and it's a more hard creek, hard concrete, I can't hard creek, I can't uh, speak today, hard concrete, like, argument. If you're able to be like, oh, I play for this team, or I'm just, like, the number one Warzone player, like, whenever you see those videos, number one Warzone player in the world goes and drops, like, 40 kills or whatever, like, that's so argumentative, because whenever they do that, they're in a public match, and if you are good at Warzone and have a good team, and, like, that is your job to do, like, yeah, you can go and pub stomp and drop that, but I don't know. I am honestly curious. I think it just goes... I, I think they are almost... I think it's, it would be really close to... I can't even speak because 
this is such a like hard topic to talk about, but I think overall there is just pro Call of Duty players, and we need to for this to happen, we need them to scrim. We need CDL players like after Major One or not after Major One after the COD champs to play in a Warzone tournament with them and vice versa. It needs to happen. We got to get these people in the arena together.